Hi guys, what's up, Jason here, and welcome back to a brand new FIFA 18 Festival of Football player review on my channel. So in today's video, guys, I'm going to be reviewing 94 rated Paul Pogba. Now, as you can see, he's got the four star weak foot, the five star skill moves, and in the six matches I did play with him, he managed to get me five goals from the cam and centre mid position. So now moving into the in-game stats, as you can see that this card has probably some of the best in-game stats in the whole game. Um, usually I'm not too keen on Paul Pogba's card for scaling and I'm not really too sure why. I think he's usually just a bit, you know, sluggish and slow and not the fastest at performing skill moves. But this card was an exception. He was so, so good. And let me just tell you this now. He is my favourite, like, ever midfielder with five-star scalers. Um, well, central midfielder at least. You know, he's got 85 pace on the centre mid, which is just crazy. 92 shooting, 95 passing, 95 dribbling, 78 defending, and 95 physical. So all around this card is just absolutely unreal. So guys, this has been the in-game stats. Now let's get into the highlights. Open up your body. So now moving into the highlights for 94 rated Paul Pogba, the first pro I could find with him was his long shots. Now I don't actually score any long shots in this video but when I did take some long shots from outside the box and further back they were on target all the time and they were very close to going in, you know it was either a good save from the keeper or off the post or the crossbar. So I would say his long shots are very good, I think I just need to play a few more matches with him um, if I want to score one. Um, the next pro I could find this card was his dribbling, now this is my favourite thing about Paul Pogba, his dribbling was so so good. Um, usually his dribbling's good, but he has not the best agility. But with this card, it's had a huge boost. He now has 80 for agility, what makes him feel a lot more agile as you would expect. Um, so when it comes down to scaling, this guy is so so good just because he keeps it touch tight to his feet and his agility is also very good. And along with that, this guy's strength is absolutely insane. Just like Ronaldo yesterday, this guy's strength is unreal. He's so hard to dispossess, and the majority of players won't be able to dispossess him off the ball just because of how strong he is and you know these whole presence and physique of his card so that's another pro I liked about this card so the key stat about this card is his 99 shot power as I've already mentioned that this guy's long shots are absolutely insane so when it comes down to long shots he has absolutely no problem he has the high medium work rate rates what in my opinion is pretty good for a midfielder and probably the perfect work rates for an attacking midfielder um, so that is very good he has the five star skill moves as you already know just from looking at the screen and looking at these clips and he has a four star weak foot now i didn't really get to test out the weak foot too much so i'm not sure if it's good or bad but it is a four star weak foot so you would expect it to be half decent so overall this card is very very good and i was actually surprised because I've tried Paul Pogba's inform cards um, earlier this year and I wasn't really that keen on him and his normal card was good but it wasn't great and this card is just on another level compared to those cards. Um, it's probably because it is so much like higher rated just because I think he got this card for being in part of the French team that won the World Cup. Um, so it did get a very big upgrade. So as you can see in the next chance there, we're doing a nice Raymer flick over the defender. The keeper's coming out trying to superman punch it. And then we managed to volley it into the corner past the keeper. Then after that, go for a two Zani around the world, two flick up, a go for the volley. And then again, the keeper comfortably saves it. And inside the box, this guy is also very good at finishing. So guys, this has been the highlights. Now let's get into the overview. I ain't had enough of you yet, I can't explain. So moving into the overview for 94 rated Festival of Football Paul Pogba. On the enjoyment scale, I'm going to, going to give him a 9.5 out of 10. A very fun card and one of the funnest cards I've used in the past few months of FIFA. The game is completely dead right now and the demo comes out in I think 3 days for FIFA 19 or maybe 2 days. So I'm very excited about that. Competitiveness wise, I'm also going to give him a 9.5 out of 10. You know, all round just looking at this card, it just looks absolutely insane. And you can't really fault him anywhere, you know, just all round a very good card. Scaling again, I was absolutely just impressed with this card. Um, usually, as I've already said, Paul Pogba isn't the best for skilling, um, just because of his low agility and he feels a bit sluggish. But this card, as I've already said, was an exception. He was very, very good at dribbling, very, very good at scaling, and especially because of that dribbling and agility and strength, you have yourself an absolutely insane player. And then I think it's only fair to give him an overall rating of a 9.5 out of 10. So again, that's, I think, one of the highest ratings I've given a player this year on my player reviews. 
But anyway guys, I will have one more player review out tomorrow around Festival of Football Neymar. Then I will start to move on to the FIFA 19 content. So guys, if you enjoyed this video and want to see more FIFA 18 player reviews on my channel, don't forget to leave a like on the video and subscribe. Thanks for watching and see you next time. I found her